สวัสดีค่ะ everyone today lesson s i I'm gonna show you how to carve this uh, green mango leaf design here to garnish your plate and we're gonna put our plate together for a beautiful garnish and I'm using green mango here if you don't have green mango I suggest you choose apple or pear to carve this design or carrot you want to do veggie tray uh, veggie curate or you want to do the fruit so let's get started let me put this aside I'm using the uh, green mango here this mango is uh, had a doesn't have any sour taste they have a little bit sweet and creamy and it crunchy so we like to eat this for snack First of all, uh, send my mango is kind of small, so you probably get four slice out of one uh, this side of mango. First of all, I'm gonna slice the top part and leave this to be garnish later on. Then you're gonna slice, put it thick on this mango here and then another slide it's gonna hit the pit because this is quite small you want kind of thick because you want to uh, have us a, a lot of thickness to carve this type of carving so let me trim this top part off If you get the larger mango, then you probably can divide it into two slide per uh, mango here and the side here. You can use that to be part of the garnish here as well. Like I said, the mango is quite large, so what you need for this side, you're gonna cut diagonal and shave it uh, like a leaf here. So you get, instead of cutting straight like this, then you will get a small piece. So you need to cut a diagonal and it's curve it. So you have two piece just like that. And uh, don't worry about the uh, queen here. You're gonna keep it like that. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna go ahead, create a center vein. And trim it out. Then make another cut to create the center vein of the leaf. Narrow on the top. Okay, I'm gonna switch my carving knife here. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut And then you're gonna wave it up and then down and curve tiny bit and then go back and follow the shape so it come out uh, you can see it kind of tiny like that see there and go back follow that shape up and down okay and next to the outer edge you're gonna drag a outer line trim underneath 
and then cut a gap, thin slide to expose this section here. I know you are seeing my knife or not. Down and then scoop cut up little hump, bring it down curve, go back, slant your knife and trim it out. They look like a teeth, some sort. See that? Okay. Then another slide, straight down. Go back, follow the shape. And then trim underneath it. Continue. Thin slide, gap. Trim it out, another cut. Curve, hump up and down, make a little hump, go with the heel, sort of, okay, and go back, follow the shape, trim underneath, another straight cut, and then a trim. See there? Okay, continue. Straight down, curve, trim it out, I know it's difficult to see on a camera because the mango is white. Make sure you reduce the side when you get close to the top of the slice here. When you get to this section, stop, okay? Get to the top. Now we're gonna go ahead, start carving on this side. Same thing, you're gonna cut and then over the hum, curve, Trim it out. Straight cut. Slightly trim it out. Okay. Continue. Over. Curve. Slant your knife, trim it out. Oops, see I cut it. Uh, this part here is quite thin, so I cut it too deep. Make it whole here. But that's okay, because you're gonna couple up when you start putting them together. Trim it out. When you make a first cut here, stop right three four of the length of the leaf here and then curve it. Okay, like here. Stop, make a hump, 
curve it up and down and then slant your knife cut it out go back reshape it and trim it out okay again Make it trim. Okay, we are at the top. Now what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead do the same thing you're gonna cut curve and drag this time drag a little longer so the tip of this mango here look nice and pretty and then trim it out Okay, there you go. See there? Now if you want this to be prettier, you go back and trim underneath here. But if you feel like this is for eating and you don't want to waste the food, you can leave that piece. I mean, leave the side here just like that. See there? Okay. Let me trim it out. Okay, there you go. Is that nice? So, this one. This mango is a little greener. This is start to get a uh, little ripe. So the color change. This one's still green and fresh. So it's kind of white here. Let's put it aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and create some of the piece that use the skin here. Let's see if I can find one. I soak in the water and they are curling up. <laughs> you can't see it now. See there? They curl up now. See? Let's, let's use for the garnish. What you need is you're gonna cut, leave some space. You're gonna use the tool here to cut it out. If you don't have a tool, use the knife. I'm gonna use U-shaped tool here to create this, round the head of this garnish here. And I'm gonna trim it out so I leave a little strip to be part of my decoration beside throwing away, see there? So you use this to be part of the decoration beside throwing the 
I will show you another type of leaf carving here. They look like banana leaf. So uh, let's get started with this leaf so we can start playing our uh, foot plate. Same thing, you're gonna cut this into half because it's too broad, I mean, it's too large. And it's gonna score the center vein. Okay. Then you're gonna split this into a let's see a section. First cut, trim it off. Second cut, trim it off. And reduce the size as you go to the top. Same here. Don't cut too close to the center here because they might break. Okay. Now what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and try to cut. You're going to walk your knife up, down, up, down, saw out this surface here. Okay. If you cannot do that, then you have to go a small section at a time. To achieve that look. It's going to take forever. So learn how to walk your knife fast so you can uh, work faster with your carving. Let me go back. See, finished already. Okay, see there? And then you go back, insert your knife and zigzag slant it and cut the back out so you want to give that jaggedy edge look okay this side let's go really quickly actually If you're not comfortable with this, I suggest you put it down because it might cut your finger and then walk your knife here and trim it up. You may cut your finger. Okay, this one a little bit too long. I'm going to go back and trim it. See there, finish. What do you think? So this could be a second type of leaf carving that we're gonna use on our platter.
okay? Okay, let's continue with our uh, technique today. You're gonna need banana leaf. You don't have banana leaf, you might use vegetable, carrot, or some sort of long vegetable, uh, daikon, radish, and shred it to a thin slice. We're gonna weave this banana leaf to be part of our garnish to decorate our plate. I'm using the longer one for the strip that go across because otherwise I have to uh, extend it and then it might fall off. So this way that it's gonna assure me that I'm gonna have a good uh, stable piece. So you're gonna, if you use banana leaf, you're gonna tear about, I say about an inch Like that. No need to cut. Banana leaf is uh, very easy to to tear. If you cut this edge out properly, it will easy to tear. Okay, let's put this aside. Now let's bring back our main piece. I'm gonna find a piece that, I'm gonna use this side circumference here to be the side of my, of my uh, weeping that I will need to use, so. What I'm gonna do is, is about this side, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that a little larger so we can cut it off, tear this part out. Okay, now you're gonna tear uh, the banana leaf the same width, which is this part here, about an inch. Oh, this one might be too small. But don't tear it all away. You just want to be keep it uh, attached to the top, so it will be easy to to handle. If you are using vegetable, then you can uh, do this step. You have to go ahead and cut a strip, and then weave them one by one, and then cut it out later on. Okay, you see if I use the same thickness here, if I go across, you see what happened? They become too short, that's why I need a longer piece. So I'm, I want to keep my weeping uh, two tones, so I'm gonna flip this to a light green. Nothing fancy of weeping. Pretty much straight forward. I tell you what, this banana leaf is, oh, never mind, kind of curvy a little bit, but okay. Anybody can weave. You can make it a small weave or a larger weave, whatever you prefer. Make sure they are touching one another pretty taut.
this is go very quickly. You can do any shape you want, square, heart shape, circle. Let's see. Voila, see there? It's all complete, the right side here that we need. So we will uh, go to our next step of uh, putting our garnish together here. What do you think? Easy? Pretty much. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna place my bow here to be my guideline. I see my banana leaves quite long and I feel like I don't want to wait everything because my platter is kind of oval and long you can see there see so i'm gonna change my mind and i'm gonna use my cup into a more like a, a teardrop or a leap shape so go ahead and Cut that away. Oh, I forgot to put my cutting board down here. Never mind. side oops go on to your bowl so they won't slippery and keep everything nice and tight Okay, there you go. I have a teardrop shape or a oval with like a balloon, huh? Now, if you want to keep them nice and taut, tight in shape, you can go back and staple them. So they kind of together when you're not, let's see, it's difficult to lift up. When you're transferring your stuff. Just enough to hold the piece together.
Oops, I ran out of stapler here. Okay. That will do it. Bring back my plate. Okay, what do you think? This is already nice looking already. Now we're gonna cut part of the uh, banana leaf to be decorating our platter here. So stay tuned. Okay, you're gonna pick uh, banana leaf, not so big, a four and a half, and tear that. You want him to be the same size. Then you're gonna fold them half. Start cutting like a sushi uh, decoration. Make sure they're pointy on top. Okay, and get smaller. For the top part, We're gonna curve it like a heart shape. There you go. Can you see there? Let me put it down. Okay. Now you're gonna trim fold it back. I just show you what it looked like, so you need to fold it back and cut the loose triangle in the middle here. Three cut. Then you're gonna cut a opening for the design on this heart shape. Oops, I just tear it. Never mind, we'll do it again. See there? I pull the uh, thread of the banana so it tear. So don't pull anything. Let's do another one. Okay. Put that aside. Keep a spade here in the center back so you have more room to do the next design on that area there.
Okay. Let me do this part so I won't mess it up. One, two, three, Thing kind of break. Try not to cut it. There you go. See there. And if you don't want to do the hot shape, you can go back and do the uh, leaf shape like that. If you can if you like so let me do one more Make sure your banana leaf kind of dry. See, see the crunchy? I mean the freshness of banana leaves. So it might break if you fold them too much. Okay, I rearranged this cutter, that banana cutter here, and uh, I lay them inside out, you know, alternate them light green, green, light green. My pad is kind of small, so I'm going to play this weeping banana on a plate here, and... show some of the design and I'm gonna put a piece of mango here to lift up my mango remember the skin that I show you how to cut it we're gonna place it here to give this piece a little interesting look I'm gonna see if I can find a larger piece go ahead and put my larger piece on top just like that keep in mind this is uh, mango is kind of flat if you do with other fruit it might be a little uh, thicker something like that and I'm gonna cover with small piece of my uh, banana scrap that I cut here 
if you have more slide they might look fuller but since I my plaid is kind of small so I didn't do much of the carving here only feel so they kind of small looking that's that's a look full that's what I'm trying to say And normally they will serve it with a dipping salt here in Thailand. You put the dipping salt here, or you can use this uh, small one here, whichever you prefer to cover that. Okay, there it is. A mango is ready to serve. for your guests or your family. What do you think? It's not that hard, right? You learn the technique here of weeping. How do I do the weeping? And banana, I mean, sorry, the mango leaf carving the design and the banana leaf cutting so you learn three techniques today just one place of this fruit platter here you can uh, use any fruit that is on hand on your area you don't want to serve anything uh, sour I mean this type of you can use the melon half the melon and uh, also serve for melon and have a yogurt, yogurt dip on a side that will work too so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this little short technique with me here and you guys stay safe and be careful out there and if you like my video please keep the hit the keep the thumb up and hit the bell button to be notified with my next coming video thank you for watching you guys take care bye bye สวัสดีค่ะ everyone enjoy